Hi everyone. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? Are you excited for English club today? Yes, I'm very excited. Uh, so, um, before we uh, before we start our English today, um, people say tak kenal maka tak sayang. So, um, let me introduce myself. My name is Emilia Magdalena. I'm a student at Universitas Sumatera Utara. I'm going to be the moderator for today. I'm replacing uh, Bang Hari because he is having something else to do. But don't worry because he will be on another English club. So stay tuned at Cinta Baca. Uh, before we start our English club, uh, as we know that Cinta Baca held the English club today. So I'm sure all the friends here want to know about what Cinta Baca is. So we are going to watch a profile video of Cinta Baca. Let's take a look. Okay, wow. Uh, you can you can come and visit Cinta Baca, ya. If you want to read something, because Cinta Baca provides many books that you can learn, and it's a very good opportunity. So, guys, um, if you can if you can turn off the camera during the discussion, if it is possible. And I want to ask uh, someone here. Hi, Kak Debbie. Hi. Hello. Hello. Are you good? Yes, I'm great for today. Thank you. What about you? Oh, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Uh, what do you expect for our English Cup today? Mm, uh, maybe we can. Yeah, okay. What about uh, Bang Anton? How are you, Bang Anton? Hi, I'm great. Yeah. <laughs> are you excited for English Club today? Yes, I do. Yeah, what, what do you expect for our English Club today? Sorry? What do you expect for our English Club today? <laughs> Judulnya uh, the, the title for our discussion. Oh, the title of our discussion, we will talk about excited to be a teenager. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so, So uh, we will start our discussion today. We already have our speaker here, a great speaker, Mr. John R. Lyles from USA, a lecturer and educator, a school owner in Makassar. Hello, Mr. John. And we will talk I'm about exciting. Oh, oh I'm yeah, still still you. Good. yeah, that's better. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Bang Anton. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Good morning. Hi, Mr. John. Uh, yeah, so we will talk about excited teenager. So, teenage life, because a time 
full of energy, curiosity, expressiveness, and certainly the search for identity. But as children grow into teenager, they will definitely face a lot of problems. Teenage life is a full of confusion. Even small things will feel big to them. So what are the problems in teenage life? We, we have Mr. John. He will discuss this and help us to measure with how life a teenager should be. So with, with respect, we will have Mr. John and Lila. Are you coming to Yeah, thank you. It's uh, it's so good to be with you guys today, and I'm uh, right now I'm in the mountains in New Mexico. So on the other side of the world, but we can talk together. It's incredible, isn't it? And uh, the reason I choose this topic about teenage is it's so exciting, you know, being a teenager and a young adult is very very exciting. So I hope today that we can have a good discussion and, and learn from each other and help each other, encourage each other. Um, and I'm an educator, I love children, I love education. And um, my wife and I started a school. We have um, around 100 students in a K through elementary school in the city of Makassar. So yeah, so that's why I chose this topic. So can you guys hear me okay? Is it okay? Can you hear me? Yes, we can, Mr. John. Okay. Yeah, so maybe we can start by looking at the um the PowerPoint and we can start to discuss that. So I have a, maybe someone can guess. Can anyone guess where I was born? I don't want, I don't want to tell Mr. John. So uh, three people who wants to be the first one to guess where I was born. Maybe you born in Makassar. In Europe. In Europe, I guess. <laughs> okay, uh, someone said Europe, someone said Makassar, and a third guess, somebody else? Salatiga. <laughs> Salatiga, okay, the, uh, all of that is incorrect. <laughs> Jogja, right? Uh, because I was born in Africa. <laughs> oh. Yes, because my parents uh, were working as um, educators there as well. Because my parents work at a school in the country of Ethiopia. And you know, you have to be born close to your mother. So she was there when I was born. So, yeah. So do you have the, do you guys have the PowerPoint? Are you ready? To begin it okay yeah let's start with that yeah so i want to give kind of a definition of youth and I broke the youth age into two groups. So the teenagers and then the young adults. And I think that in Indonesia, you use the term uh, anak muda. You often say anak muda, uh, which is an idiom, which means young adults. In English, we would say young adults. Um, so go ahead to the first slide. So we want to define this, these two groups, teenagers and young adults, and uh, go to the next, go ahead, go for the next slide. So teenagers, we can say 
So around 12 years until 17 years old. 12 years until 17 years old. And um, as you know, teenage is the time when you're still at home, when you're studying through high school. Uh, and it's a growing time. It's a growing time. At the age of 12, you're still considered we could say you're still considered a child, yeah? Child, but then at the age of 12, you begin to become, it's on the it's on the road to becoming an adult. It's on that road. So it's an important time of life. It's a very important time of life. Okay, go ahead to the next slide. Okay, the next group is the young adults, and that's from 18 to 22, and that's a transition time. Transition, where from the age 17, you are beginning to understand what it means to become an adult, and 23 to 28 is really a continual growth of a young adult becoming an adult, and then 27, 28, it's really the the formation of who you are as an adult. So there's a very important times of life. And the reason why we say exciting, because uh, when you're young, when you're in that age of teenage and young adult age, you are learning so many things, you're experiencing so many new things. And for me, when I was when I was a teenager, when I was young adult. It was so exciting. It was so exciting. And I hope for you that this age is an exciting age for you also. So go ahead to the next slide. Okay, let's begin by talking about the teenage uh, group. So this is the beginning of the body growing, really growing uh, and changing. And during the age of 12 to 17, normally is when, you know, children will grow the most and become tall and they become begin their body begins to take the shape of an adult so what happens during this time of body change uh, a lot of a lot of teenagers feel uncomfortable because sometimes they lose their balance and they can't run like they used to they can't play the games that they used to you know uh, like um, a lot of teenagers also lose their confidence because they don't look they don't look the way they used to look. Even their face can change. You know, when they're children, maybe they're chubby, and then uh, when they become teenagers, their face becomes narrow, thin. Changes like this. Uh, you know, they maybe they get fatter, maybe they get skinnier, but their body is really changing a lot. And it's a challenge. It's a big challenge uh, for a lot of teenage children. The second thing is the emotional changes. Because uh, becoming an adult, you have to learn a lot of things about emotions. And when I was a teenager, oh, wow, I was uh, very emotional, very emotional. I was screaming, I was happy, I was sad, I was, you know, and that's very normal until the age of 17, 18, it's very normal to have emotionals. We call ups and downs, ups and downs. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's a part of the teenage life. Forming identity. So as a child, you don't really have identity yet. You don't have your own identity. You have your parents' identity. You have your family identity but you don't really have your own identity. And so beginning at the age 13 to 17, this is really uh, looking for identity. Um, and this is very important time of life, the formation of who you will be, who you will become, uh, what you believe, why you do different things. Uh, your career is beginning now, you know, is beginning to formulate what 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 are your likes, what are your dislikes, uh, what are your hobbies, what is your character, what is your personality. All of these things are starting to take place. 
And then also, um, yeah, still very dependent. We can say needs, uh, very, a lot of needs, very dependent on parents' uh, assistance in defining direction. So you need a lot of help. You're still talking to teachers, you're talking to your parents, you're talking to your uncles and aunts and other friends. Um, and so a lot of need for, for assistance because you're not, you cannot be independent. A teenager cannot really be independent. Okay, let's look at the next slide. Uh, so this positives, I gave a, we're gonna talk about the positives and the negatives of being a teenager. So this is a positive side. Teenagers are learning a lot. They're studying. They're listening, they're watching movies nowadays. Uh, you know, watch YouTube. A lot of information is going in. A lot of information. And teenage brain is very smart, very quick. Uh, and that's a positive thing. Um, going to school. And as you get to the age 18, 17, 18, 19, you'll start to go to university. So there's a lot of knowledge that's going into their brain. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. A lot of energy. Teenage, teenage um, people, normally we, we, we think that they, they don't need, you know, they don't need to sleep a lot, right? They don't need to sleep a lot, have a lot of energy. They have freedom. They don't have a lot of responsibility. A lot of excitement about life and when i was a when i was a teenager i was not afraid of anything you know and that's common for teenage uh of that age of teen um you know a lot of teenagers they do things that are a bit dangerous racing motorcycles you know Maybe, maybe some of you know some of these things when maybe you are doing them, maybe you have done them a little bit dangerous things because teenagers don't think about, they don't, they don't have a lot of uh, thinking about the future, not a lot of worries normally. And also they are uh, eager to try new things. And this is a positive thing, you know, they, they can try new things, they can learn new things. And they're beginning to form their understanding about life. It's the beginning. It's the beginning of it. Um, yeah, maybe if anybody wants to share one, one person wants to share one thing about the positive side of um, being a teenager, maybe one, one peserta can, can one peserta share one thing? Does anyone want to share something? If you want to share something. How about Bang Krishna? Do you want to share something? Uh, yeah, hello, Bang hello. Krishna. Okay, Bang Krishna. Hmm. I don't, I don't know what to tell guys because <laughs> uh, if I, if I if I have to answer this quick, it'd be that uh, like uh, like what you just said, like what Mr. John said, uh, it's about curiosity. Yeah, and I'm I'm I I, I had experienced that too. <laughs> you know, when I was when I was younger. Uh, I felt curious about so many things, and uh, and thank God that curiosity remains in me today. <laughs> so yeah, that's I think one of the positives about uh, teenagers. Yeah, yeah, that's very good. Thank you, thank you for sharing that. Yeah, are you ready to go to the next slide? Okay, 
And the negative side about um, the emotional unstable, emotionally unstable, or we could say in, instability. Uh, this can be negative. Yeah, in Indonesian, maybe we can say uh, bergejolak, right? Uh, it's like exploding sometimes emotions. And that can be negative at times. Um, unsure of identity, that can make people very uncertain about what they should do at times. Um, and it can make a lot of teenagers afraid. It can make them make bad decisions sometimes. Um, yeah, so this is a negative side. Lacking wisdom because wisdom comes from experiences and teenagers have not experienced a lot of things. So oftentimes they don't, they, they are not able to make the right decision, the good decision. And also, uh, so there's a need for guidance. They really need a guidance from parents. They need a guidance from maybe older brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles or cousins, or maybe other people other important people in their life. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Okay, now we're uh, talking about the young adult age. So this is about age 18 until 28, about 10 years. And you know that the uh, the young adult formation of identity formation even of their body it continues until they're like 27 28 years old um the body formation maybe maybe they stop growing uh when they're 17 18 but actually the the formation of it is still happening it's still happening and um the identity formation it begins to solidify when they are in their early 20s, but it continues. It continues to form and really solidify in the late 20s, 27, 28. Uh, so it's not, it's the, the adult, we can say the, the adult uh, time doesn't really begin until the end of the 20s. The emotional stabilized, um, it begins in the early 20s, but it becomes more and more stable into the late 20s. A lot of young adults, a lot of people in their 20, 22, 23, 24, they still have a lot of emotional ups and downs. They still have a lot of, um, we could say, yeah, insecurities, still a lot of issues that they're dealing with. Uh, into that, into the young adult age. Uh, breaking and growing new relationships. This is a challenging part of the, of the young adult age uh, because as they are growing, they, they become further away from their family. Often if they go to university, you know, if you go to university, you will be far from your family. Uh, or maybe someone in your family will go to university or get a job, or maybe you'll get a job somewhere else. And so often in the, in the young adult time, there's a lot of change, a lot of change. When I was 18, I left my, my home and my city, and I moved to a different place to go to college. It was a big change for me. It was a very challenging time for me. Um, and then financially productive. So... Oftentimes in the young adult age, there's also uh, beginning to work and become some independence financially. Okay, go ahead to the next slide. Okay, the positive side is that everything is new because when you're a young adult, you haven't had a job before, you haven't been to university before. And everything is new, exciting, very exciting. Um, 
growing responsibilities. I remember the first time I had a job. I was so excited. When I was a young adult, um, when I was going to college, I worked at an elementary school. I worked at a restaurant. I worked at I worked also doing a lot of things like painting, uh, growing responsibilities. Another responsibilities, another responsibility is uh, many young adults get married when they're 24, 25, and um, that's a big responsibility. It's a big responsibility. Um, <clears throat> In the family, in the family, also the uh, as a young adult in your family, maybe you will become more responsible for other people in your family. Maybe your parents will want you to help with your brothers and sisters. Because at the age of 17 in Indonesia, you can drive a car, maybe, or, or drive a motorcycle. Maybe you have to take your brother or sister to school now. So you have new responsibilities. You have new responsibilities. If your parents are getting older, if your parents are, uh, maybe they have already, um, you know, they, they don't work anymore. Maybe they have already, uh, retired, pension, kalau sudah pension, uh, maybe you have to work, you know, as a young adult, maybe you have to work. So there's a lot of changes in the early 20s, in the young adult age. Um, yeah, if you get married, that's a new relationship. If you get married, uh, and as you come into the 20s and early 20s age, you're going to become more a part of a community. You're going to be more active in the community, whatever community, maybe religious community, maybe uh, maybe in your ERTE, you're going to be active, or maybe in your school, in the different clubs. So there's a lot of new things happening. Does someone want to share something, one thing about this, uh, the positive side of becoming a young adult? Maybe you can have a girl share something. Yes, anyone want to share about the positive side of teenager? What about Kak Laili? Do you want to share something, Kak Laili? Okay. Uh, I think being a young adult means having a lot of responsibility. So it means we can be someone that um, we can be someone that more productive, and a lot of people count on to to us like as a young adult become someone who can be count on okay yeah people can count on you you can be responsible that's right that's good it's a good quality thank you okay do you want to tell a story can you share a story with us about that Yeah, Pak John, I want to share a little my experience when I was young adult. Mm. Uh, so in young adult uh, period, uh, this is the time that uh, I keluar out from my house, <laughs> from my mm -hmm. house, from my hometown. Uh, mm -hmm. I went to college. Uh, I learned how to independent and um, manage myself yeah manage myself because mm -hmm. I away from my parents so I'm excited because uh, in campus I try to follow like uh, joining campus organization 
uh, mm. making new friends and try something <laughs> crazy things with, with my friends and also mm -hmm. uh, in my young adult uh, after I graduate from my campus I try to uh, looking for job yeah looking for job and I'm so happy because I have a uh, uh, money my own my own uh, uang punya uang sendiri ya punya uang sendiri so uh. I can yeah. manage to to buy something to go to every every places that I love with my friends, and yeah, because this is the time I have my own income. Yeah, that's my mm -hmm. <laughs> sharing experience. Yeah, that's good. That's right, Clara. That's good examples. Does someone else want to share something about? Yeah, positive experiences. I want to say something. <laughs> okay, Anton. When I was young, I like to jalan jalan. <laughs> Everywhere <laughs> uh, I like. I remember mm -hmm. that we go to the island. We swimming in the island, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the exciting thing is growing into responsibility. Uh, it must be uh, help to every young. Wherever we go, wherever we are, we have to serve responsibility. Even, even if, yeah, crazy things. <laughs> We must think the about risiko. The risk, yeah, the risk. Okay, that's all. Yeah, that's right. That's right. What what you said, Anton. Yeah, we have to be careful. We enjoy. We enjoy a lot of life, but we have to be careful also. That's true. But you know, when you are a teenager, you don't think about it. <laughs> You don't think about it. Young adult, often you don't think about it. You know, I think about the things I did when I was a teenager, when I was 16, 15. Because, you know, I grew up in Salatiga. And I would take the bus. So I'm in uh, high school. I would go by myself on the bus to Jogja. And in Jogja, I would borrow my friend's motorcycle and I, went, and I would go to the beach in Parang Tritis. And Parang Tritis is a nice beach. And I would go to the beach in Parang Tritis by myself. And I would sleep on the beach. I would just sleep on the sand. And I would eat at the warung and I would be there one day, two days, just sleep on the sand. I didn't care. Tidak mandi. I don't care. And then I would ride back. I would like Sunday, I would take the motorcycle back to Jogja, get on the bus and go back to my, ho my house in Salatiga. This is crazy. Isn't that crazy? You know, and even one time I did it one time and I ran out of money. You know, I ran out of money when I was like 18 years old. I had no money, and, but I wasn't afraid. I just go and I borrow money. Like uh, it, the bus was uh, at the time maybe six, seven thousand. So I just borrowed ten thousand rupees, enough to get home. That's all. <laughs> you know, this is the thinking of uh, this is the way that the young adult, the teenage, especially teenager, thinks. Very simple. Okay, let's look at the next slide. Are ready, Chita? Can we see the next slide? Hmm? Yeah, next slide. The next slide. Oh, the negative side. Did we do the negative side? Yeah. There we go. 
the negative side. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, so the negative side is a lot of times in the in the young adult age, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure to perform in university, a lot of pressure to perform in work. And these are new pressures because young adults have not been under a lot of pressure. Um, so this is a, a big change. And this can be a big challenge. Pressure from family also. Uh, a lot of times young adults, the family says you have to get a job, you have to uh, pay for a family needs a lot of older siblings older brothers and sisters have to pay for their younger siblings to go to school uh, especially if the parents are already retired are not working anymore it's a big responsibility and then broken relationships um <clears throat> it's very common uh like anton was saying um you know he liked to travel so when he is traveling, I'm sure he was so far away from his family. You know, for me as well, um, I went to university. I was far away from my family. I was very sad. I was very sad. And my parents were very sad also. But I, that was the thing I had to do. I wanted to get education, so I had to do it. And that's a, it's a challenge. It's a big challenge in the relationship area. But still, young adults, uh, do not have enough wisdom to make the wise decisions. And um, so we're going to talk about uh, what is the best way to make wise decisions. So let's look at the next slide. Okay, so here's some, some tips that I, I have for you guys. And we can talk about them, about how to make a plan as a young adult, as a teenager, how to make a plan. And the first thing I said here is look for the good people who can be your guide. So for me, when I was, um, when I was a teenager, uh, I had some good friends and I had bad friends, right? You always have like good friends and bad friends. Isn't that right? And right um i had to choose the good friends and you know there's a sad story a very sad story and i don't know if i should tell you but i had five friends and when i was in high school and they all eventually became involved in drugs you know narcoba five of my friends and because of that i had to stop I had to stop being friends with them. I had to break the relationship with them because I did not want to do drugs. I did not want to drink alcohol. And um, and four of them, before I finished college, four of them had already uh, died actually because of accidents, because of drugs, because of different things. And only one of them is still alive today. That's very sad, you know. But I, I had to make that choice when I was in high school. And I remember my father, he said to me, he said, I see every Saturday you're going with these five friends of yours. And these are not good people. He said, these people will take you in the wrong direction. And I had to listen to my father. I had to listen to him. And it was really sad. I was really sad. But I stopped. I had to stop going with them every Saturday. <clears throat> and then I have to look who are the good people in my life that can be my friend. And, and there were good people. And so, you know, there were other people in my life that I started to spend time with. So and this is wisdom. You know, we have to, as a young adult, as a teenager, you have to choose the good people, the right people to be a guide. And a guide means somebody that is, uh, that knows more than you do. Um, and then number two, listen to parents and leaders or leaders who can help you through these times of change. So look for those people, look for those people who are going to be able to, to be uh, a guide for you. 
um, we need our parents, but a lot of times our parents, maybe they cannot help us with everything. So we probably need other people. Um, like for me, I had a, I had a docent, one of my docent, one of my professors, he helped me a lot. So I would talk to him, I would drink coffee with him, and he helped me think through a lot of things, you know. Um, and it was, he was very kind, he was very kind to me. Another, um, I, when I was in university also, I helped in, I helped work in a prison. And in the prison, we tried to help the young prisoners to think through their life. And my leaders in that program were very helpful. His name was Charlie, one of the guys that helped me. And he was, he was maybe 20 years older than I, and he would, he would help me think about, you know, what do I want to do after I finish my university and things like that. So, and then number three, ask for advice when you need to make decisions. So don't be, don't be shy. Don't be embarrassed to ask people's advice. Don't be afraid to ask people's advice. Um, look for the right people. And then the last one is also look to your friends and work together with them. And this is very important also. So uh, who are the friends that can work with you and support each other? Um, so when I was in, when I was in university, uh, there was a group of friends and we studied together. We encouraged each other. Um, and when I went to university, I didn't have a car. I didn't have a motorcycle. So if I want to go somewhere, I have to borrow a motorcycle. I have to borrow a car, you know, uh, simple things like that. When I want to get a job, uh, actually one of my friends at college taught me how to drive a car because when I got to college, when I got to university, I didn't know how to drive a car. So they taught me how to drive a car. Um, they helped me get a job. They helped me find a job. They helped me um, understand about working in a certain industries. Uh, so look to your friends as well. But again, you know, look to those good people, the good friends. Um, yeah, so this is uh, the advice I have. Um, and, and don't be embarrassed, don't be shy, don't be malu. In Indonesian, we say malu, don't be embarrassed. Because as a young adult, this, it's normal. You're not going to know everything. You're not going to know about everything. And you need other people um, to get through the situations. Okay, let's look at the questions. So does somebody want to share an example, something in your life that was the most exciting part of your life? Does somebody want to share that for us? Anyone want to share the first question? What about Ka Lilis? Kalilis, are you there? Oh. Yes. Yeah, do you want to share uh, the first question? Uh, when I was a teenager, I think I'm not a good kid for my parents. I have many negative things. Uh, of my life when I was a teenager. So I think it's a bad story to tell. But yeah, there is uh, some positive uh, experience with it too, but uh, many negative things with it too, also, either. Yeah, uh, but I realized that now, because I have a child in teenager uh, 
now, I mean, I have a daughter. Mm -hmm. she, she is 12 years old now. So I think mm -hmm. uh, she's better than me, I think. Because <laughs> that's what I mean. Think, <laughs> yeah, because uh, I really want to say sorry to my mother, but uh, my mother just passed away before I got married, so I cannot say sorry. But mm -hmm. I still have my, my father. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think because I have the same, uh, uh, my father is my model. So uh, actually, I think my father just like me. No, no, I just like my father. So I think he understand me <laughs> <laughs> because I uh, same like him. <laughs> Uh -huh. But yeah, I learned many things because I have a teenager's daughter now. Uh, I hope she didn't do the wrong thing like I did before. <laughs> uh -huh. I think uh, uh, like uh, what is that in English? Membrontak? Umbrontak, yeah, rebel. We can say yes. rebel. Uh, I rebel my parents. I uh, I do not like to go to school uh, because of mm. my teachers. So many homework. So when I didn't do my homework, I don't want to go to school. And my parents do not know that I didn't do my homework. And they are confused because I don't want to go to school. I didn't explain it to my parents, but they saw uh, kecewa. Uh, uh, they were they were disappointed. We can yes. say disappointed mm -hmm. because of me. Uh, mm -hmm. They know that I'm not a stupid student. I can understand my uh, lesson, but they know. Uh, there is something that they do not know about me when I was a teenager. But after uh, I was in college, I understand. I try to learn about myself. And I know that, um, yeah, maybe because I, uh, when I was in junior high school, uh, it's different level school than my elementary school. Maybe it's about uh, many new friends and, uh, you know, like uh, I become, uh, what is that in English? Minder? Uh, okay. Because, what yeah. is minder? <clears throat> minder is um, minder. Yeah, not confident. Of... Not confident. Yeah, not confidence because. Not confident, uh, yeah. So many uh, uh, rich people in my junior high school, so they mm. they, they underestimate of me, and it make mm -hmm. me not con con really confident in that school, and it mm -hmm. make me. Um, and when I was in uh, elementary school, I I can get a uh, juara satu. What is that? In in uh -huh. class. Uh -huh. So you uh, were number one, yeah. Yes. You're the but, top, the top of your grade. Yeah, but in mm -hmm. uh, junior high school, I only get a uh, not become sepuluh <laughs> besar. Uh, not in the top ten. Yeah, not yes. in the top ten. Not in top mm -hmm. ten. So uh, I think because of that, it make me. Uh, disappoint to myself because uh. I'm not uh, in top 10 anymore. So with uh, many friends, uh, like uh, they are rich people and I'm not a rich people and it make me so many things in junior high school. And yeah, mm -hmm. like uh, many homework that I didn't do and 
many things. But yeah, thank God I am. Uh, yeah, I'm better now. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, but that's my experience about uh, my <laughs> teenager. <laughs> Thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> so can I ask you a question? Yes. So what um can you share with us what changed from your you know in uh, SMP SMA because you said when you got to college when you got to university you were really able to change. So what what do you think were the factors? What were the things that helped you change? Uh, when I was in uh, senior high school, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like in junior high school, I school in a uh, private school, many rich people in that uh, school. But when I was uh -huh. in senior high school, I uh, my school is a government school. So okay. not too many yeah. rich people there. Uh, just... Uh -huh. uh, Orang-orang biasa like me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, it made me feel comfort than uh, junior high school. And okay. uh, I have uh, many friends that uh, better than uh, junior high school. Because junior high school, they see friends from how rich you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah. when I was in senior high school, they didn't see it. They see that uh, if you are good, uh, if you are clever, if you are uh, can be a good friend, and we become your friend. Just it. No, didn't see uh, how rich you are or how many things that you have. So it made mm -hmm. me. It changed me. I become, oh, I can see myself better than before. That I know that everyone have uh, their own uh, kelebihan. Setiap orang punya kelebihan masing-masing. So, mm -hmm. uh, I try to see uh, kelebihan saya sendiri. Good, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, so because the situation change and your... your um, you can say the community of people that you spend time with, it changed and then it changed you. So that's a good example. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. So we can understand, we can understand from this, from your story is that, um, yeah, you, maybe you have to get the good, the good people. You had to find the good people and you couldn't find them when you were in middle school, but then in high school, you were able to find the right people, the good people. And it's very true. Money is uh, it's not the solution. Money is not the, the solution for friendship and it's not the good way of uh, determining if someone is a good person, if they have money or don't have money. And uh, like me, when I was in university, even when I was in, in high school, I was not, uh, my family was not wealthy. My family was not, um, you know, didn't have a lot of money. Uh, just yeah, normal people, and that can be a challenge. That can be challenging, but I'm glad to hear that. And you know, I want to say something else about your story. That's funny uh, because uh, you have a daughter now. Was it daughter, right? You have a daughter who's who's a teenager. Yes. Yeah. So I have. I right now have two teenage boys, two sons. Uh, one is 17 and one is uh, 16 right now. And then, oh, three actually. Yes, three. And uh, my third my third son is a teenager and he is, he's 13. So I tell them stories about my teenage when I'm a teenager. And it, it yeah, I was, uh, I did a lot of naughty things, you know. I, I did a lot of bad things when I was a teenager. Not Not horrible things, but bad things and so when when my teenage boys do something wrong and they come and they say oh i'm sorry i'm sorry dad i did this wrong and this wrong and i'm like it's okay i forgive you i was worse than you when i was a teenager you'll be fine um and it's good to encourage our teenage 
you know, when we when we get to the age where we have children who are teenagers, to encourage them, uh, because it's gonna be okay when they make mistakes, and uh, we all make mistakes. We everyone makes mistakes, and I'm also glad that you are able to, you know, talk to your father about uh, and say sorry, you know, to him because it's important. Uh, I remember one time I lied to my parents when I was in high school, you know. I lied to them. I said to them I was going to one friend's house, but actually I was going out of town. And um, I rode a motorcycle for three hours at night, starting about maybe at 10 o'clock at night, to my friend's house in another town far away from Salatiga. And, uh, and so I lied to my parents, I lied to them. And they know, of course, they know I'm lying to them, you know, it's so funny. And, um, and then later, maybe one or two months after I lied to them, I came to them and I said, I'm sorry, I lied to you. I said I was over there. And yeah, that's, uh, they forgave me. And um, yeah, I didn't lie to them again, but we can learn from our mistakes and um, we can grow through our mistakes. So yeah, each one of us, we will experience mistakes, but we have to, we have to be willing to keep going to work through the issues. There's no mistake that's too bad for us because we always have another chance. We can always have another chance. Okay, uh, is there someone else that would like to share something? Uh, the next question, what is the most challenging, whoa, challenging, challenging part of your life as a teenager or young adult? Does someone want to uh, share that with us? Does someone want to share about the question number two? What about uh, Bang Liam's Anton? Are you there, Bang Liam's? Uh, what about Kak Hena? Are you there? No. <laughs> okay, what about Bang Anton? Bang Anton, do you want to share for the question number two? <laughs> yeah, the challenge, the challenging thing right now is uh, I have two boys. Right now. <laughs> they will be teenager. <laughs> yeah, sepertinya saya belum terlalu memahami ini, jadi uh, the challenging is. Uh, it's about uh, working, yeah. How to to be responsibility about my my job. How to manage my time with family and 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 working. This is the challenging uh, I have right now. <laughs> I don't have any idea to to Good, yeah, good, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's very true. It's a true challenge, uh Anton. Thank you. Um yeah, how to manage the time. And this is uh, talking about the responsibilities as young adults. Um, learning to, to manage the time is a, it's a big challenge because on the one hand, we, we want to do good in our work, but we also have to, we have to have time with our family. And we have to have a balance. Um, and your children, uh, they need a lot of time with you. They need a lot of time with you. Um, uh, because you know that, uh, Anton, you are a father. Whoa, Mr. Anton is a father. Yes. 
And as a father, uh, you want to give your children something special. And what that is, you, what you want to give them is your, your, your ideas, uh, your thoughts, and, and your heart. You know, what is in your heart and um, what you believe, what is important to you, you want to give it to them. But the only way to give it to them is when you spend time with them and you do fun things together. Uh, and this is, uh, this is the time and you will never get that time back. You know, right now, when, you're, when your children are young, uh, until they are 17 years old, 18, 19 years old, this is the time that you have. After that, you don't have that time, you know. And so for me, um, I sacrifice my work. You know, right now I have four boys. I have four boys, 17, 16, 13, and eight. And I sacrifice my time for them. Even right now I'm in the mountains and I take time off of work. I take, uh, I took uh, four days off of work. And then I, um, we drove, we drove this uh, like 10 hours to come into the mountains. It takes my money. Yeah, it's going to cost money to be to spend time with them. But when we are together, we do fun things and I can share with them about who I am, about what I believe about and give them wisdom, you know, because you, Anton, you have wisdom that your children do not have how do you give it to them you can you cannot uh give it to them in way uh, i'm sorry it doesn't work you know <laughs> you cannot give it to them in youtube no it doesn't work and when you spend time with someone what happens they know that you love them you know and it's the same uh like um Ibuli, uh Mrs. Lily was saying, right? She was saying that she gets time with her father now. Uh, this is important. And, and right now, as a, I'm a, also a son. You know, I'm a son. And right now, I'm spending time with my parents also, who are 80. My parents are 81, 82 years old. And uh, yeah, thank God I have time with them to be with my parents. And then my children, my four boys, have time to be with my parents. So they're with their grandma and grandpa. So this is important as well for me to be in America. Actually, I live in Makassar all the time, you know. And uh, it just happens that I'm in America. But the reason I'm in America is because of family. And family is so important, isn't it? Family is so important. So um, manage your time. And you need at least... Uh, let's say two or three hours every week where you are focused on each of your children. So take them, do something fun, go. It doesn't mean you have to spend money with them. Do something fun. Maybe go to a fun place, go hiking, go fishing. You can go swimming, go to the beach uh, with Jonah. Jenna, I took him to the beach and uh, I just go swimming with him, James. With the younger, when they're younger, read books with them. It's very important to do this, to build that relationship with them. Okay, let's go back to the thank next. Thank you, Pak John. <laughs> yeah, thank you for Pak your John, question. Uh, I meet Pak John in Makassar also. So Pak John know me a little bit. <laughs> Now, Pak John doesn't know me. <laughs> Only <laughs> know we have two voices, two of my voices. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, would someone like to share about the change? Something in the change about be from from being a child to being an adult, a young adult. 
what was the biggest change that you experienced? Would someone like to share that? Okay, uh, Bang Krishna want to share. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, the biggest change in my life that I have experienced was when I, you know, when I attended the first year of high school. Uh, and so basically my, my parents got divorced and uh, mm. it, it, it uh, accelerated my growth process. Uh, although, yeah, it, 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 it was so life changing that even until now, I, I'm still having a challenge I'm still having I'm still having a challenge to talk about it, but mm. but yeah, uh, even after this like what seven eight years from that event, <laughs> but uh, but now I realize that uh, there there must be something good from my parents' divorce <laughs> and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the past, you know, two three years, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm learning to cope with my situation and mm -hmm. and accept it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that that was the biggest change in my life. Yeah. So this change is something that happened outside of you, right, Krishna? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This was outside of you, but in the family, and that is that is a very big challenge. Uh, and thank you, thank you, Krishna, oh, yeah. for being brave enough to share that with us. Thank yeah, you for yeah. sharing You're that. Um, because I know that maybe other people uh, have a similar challenge, and it's a big challenge. Um, yeah, and maybe for you, uh, Krishna, what I would say is. Uh, you can you can become whoever you decide to be you know and that's so important even though even though things around you fall apart and it's most difficult for your for you when your family falls apart mm. um but you you can do it you know you can become the person that you want to be and uh yeah i don't know for me, um, I believe in I believe in my faith. I believe in God, mm -hmm. and uh, I always trust in God, even though I face challenges. Mm. And um, and for me, I, I I experienced many things where God really helped me out. And uh, like I said, when I went when I went to college, when I went to university, I was about eighteen years old. I got on the plane from Indonesia because I was living in Indonesia. I got on the plane by myself. I flew all the way by myself mm -hmm. from Indonesia to America. And I got off the plane in America and I got on a bus. Nobody picked me up at the airport. Mm -hmm. I got on a bus to go to the university and I don't, I don't know anyone at the university. That was very challenging. Um, but I want to, I want to encourage you. I hope that I can encourage you, Krishna, that, uh, that you can get through this, you mm. know, you can get through this. Yeah. And, um, I would give you the advice that I said before, look for the, if your parents can't be that person to help you look for other people, mm. You know, I don't know, maybe an uncle, aunt, um, I don't know, other leaders in your family, in your, in your community who can help you uh, make the right decisions. But as a teenager, as a young adult, you need those people. So at university, I, I really thank God because I had one docent who really helped me. He re really helped me um, because my parents were there, were not there. My, no uncles and aunts, uh, no one there at the university to help me. And I had this uh, one docent that really helped me. So that would be my encouragement to you. Look for those people who can encourage you, who can help you. Mm -hmm. 
and really hold on to those people and um mm. don't give up don't mm. give up yeah, yeah okay 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 oh yeah, yeah. about about uh about what you said earlier you know uh after my parents divorce i relearn about my religion and spirituality and stuff and Mm. somehow i uh you know so somehow i enjoy i enjoy it more now than than before the event <laughs> basically wow i enjoyed my uh i don't know i enjoy my religion i guess you could say that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and i oh uh yeah and i also learned about uh you know after my parents divorce i take interest in philosophy and uh, psychology although not not that serious you know mm -hmm. uh, through i mean like uh, like watching youtube videos about it or um, or reading books about it uh, mm -hmm. yeah but and it it helped me it helped me understand about the situation around me Mm -hmm. yeah 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 that's true and there's a lot of tools like that mm. that can help and and just recently you know i i am beginning to you know i'm beginning to accept the this situation and even thanking god uh, for the for the event because yeah because if if it didn't happen i maybe i will not change i will not grow <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that's good to have a positive attitude for that that's very good yeah although although it although it took me what eight, almost eight years <laughs> it took mm. me almost eight years yeah but yeah but it but it uh, but you know we can change yeah <laughs> i just want to mm -hmm. say that we can change yeah 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 that's true okay let's ask the um how are we doing on time magdalena how are we doing on time how much time do we have how much time do we have magdalena oh oh yeah we have five minutes we have five minutes left Miss. five more minutes yes five minutes more and how are we doing on the the slide presentation? Do we have um, all the questions? Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. let's look at the slide that says when I fall. Let's look at that one. Do you have that one? The one that's called when I fall? Go, I think it's the one before the questions. So yeah, to, to close, I want to um, share some things uh about when you do make mistakes because we're talking about teenage years young adult years you're going to make mistakes you know you're always going to make mistakes and even as you become an adult you're going to make mistakes and uh, the most important thing about when you make a mistake is that uh that you learn from it and and you don't allow that failure you don't allow that mistake um, to make you give up, to make you to stop wanting to try, stop wanting to become, you know, a great person. You don't want to give up. And um, it's so important that you have the attitude uh, not to give up, uh, but to keep going, try again and again, and keep trying. And um, just to close, uh, 
I want to I want to share some things with you. You know, some of the greatest people, the greatest successful people in the world today are people that experience great failures. Are you aware of that? Great failures and people that experience great failures and each one of us, we need to understand that failure is not actually a bad thing. But failure is the opportunity to do something better next time and to learn from that. And so as a teenager, as a young adult, learn from your mistakes, keep going. And like I said, look for the good people, look for the leaders who can help you, look for the friends who can work together with you and, um, and have an exciting teenage and young adult life. Okay? Have a great, exciting life. I'm excited for each one of you. Thank you, Pak John. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Thank, thank you, each one of you who are able to share something. I was hoping each person could share but um, I think that not everyone shared, but thank you for each person that shared. Um, it's very important that we can encourage each other. And uh, I think that was good. Yeah. Well, thank you for the interesting discussion today, Mr. John. Uh, so uh, we want to uh, end our discussion today. So uh, one, one that we can learn from discussion today is teenage life is the best moment of our life because we learn something new, we play and try new experience and looking for identity. So we need to choose someone who can guide, guide us and lead us in life, face problem and make decisions. So don't be afraid to ask someone because we need other people to help. Find a friend who leads you to a better life. So uh, for the adult people here, like uh, Kak Lilis, for uh, as a mom, may we can help other teenagers too to live their lives well. So we all made mistakes and we should learn from all of it and not to give up, but always try and try, okay? Thank you, Mr. John, mm -hmm. for taking his time and share with all of us here and for Cinta Baca too who has made this uh, English club for today uh, to us to study and share. So uh, to end our discussion, okay, let's, let's end our session with a photo. Yeah, we can, we have okay. oh, okay. so, uh, want to print to us. Uh, can you open the camera? Yes, uh, show your best smile, guys. Stand up. Uh, 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 yeah. I can turn on your camera, guys. So your best smile. Yes. Okay. Still waiting. Still waiting. <laughs> Oke, belum pada ini ya. Tinggal lagi ini ya. Gak gak buka kamera ya. Oke, it's okay. Oke, let's take a photo. We only have one slide, so we can take a three picture. Oke, oke. First, oke. One, two, three. Ya, wait a minute. Let me check first. Uh, once again. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. One, two, three. Once again. Mm. <laughs> one, two, three. Okay, thank you. Back to Magdalena. Yeah, thank you for everyone who 
attend this meeting today. I hope every everyone doing well. And thank you for Mrs. John for taking his time to all of us here. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. John. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Members, bye everyone. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Yuli. Bye. Thank you, Nelly. Thank you, Lenny. Sekarang di Mexico ya, bang.